Hello everyone, it's Desiree Alexander, AKA Educator Alexander, and this is your five minute tip for this week. I received the question of, can you create breakout rooms using Google Meet? The official answer is no. It's not an easy, quick button, just like in Zoom. We could just assign people to breakout rooms and go from there. So you can do a workaround to get breakout rooms using Google Meet. So I'm going to use my Google Classroom link. So I have my Google Meet, and you know these last couple of digits and numbers is the actual room name or nickname. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to come here to Classwork, and how I would set this up is I would go ahead and create a topic, and this will be called Breakout Rooms. So this way I can just add things to my topic and it will just stay here for when I need it. So I have my breakout room topic. I will actually bring, drag this all the way to the top. And now I would come here and use material. So I'm gonna create material. I'm gonna make sure that this material is under breakout rooms. Let's say I call this one breakout room one, if I can spell today. And then in my directions, I may put something like, join us in breakout room one, you know, any other directions that I wanna put here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and paste, but I'm going to change this. So if I change this, that's going to make a separate room. So I'm just going to put anything here. Let's say red, blue, and I'm just literally clicking on some stuff. So there you go. So I just put anything here, and this is actually going to be the nickname of that room. So now I have a separate me. I'm going to hit post. So breakout room one. So if I assign certain students to breakout room one, they would just come here and come here and click on this link. And now they'll be in breakout room one. So I will repeat this breakout room two, breakout room three, just change this back part to whatever I want to change it to. And then when it's time to actually have class and have the breakout rooms, I'm actually going to join all of the breakout rooms so they can all be open. My students will be ready to go. So to join my original room, I'm gonna come up here and join my original room. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna click on each breakout room and join them. So I can be in multiple rooms at the same time. So I would just come here and join each room. And then as my students come in and they're doing their breakouts, I can actually just have all of my tabs up here and just go from room to room and see what they're doing. What you want to do is mute yourself so you're not getting a lot of feedback and things like that. So you want to make sure that you mute yourself and then you can go from room to room and see what they're doing. You can actually pin your tabs as well if you're going to have a bunch of breakout rooms. So I can come right here, right click on the tab and hit pin, right click pin. And I'll have all my little tabs that I can just go from room to room and see what's going on. So. That is the workaround for doing breakout rooms using Google Meets.